These bananas I had frozen in the freezer. Once they turn black, you want to just throw them in there and then you can save them for soap making. Um, take the ones that you're going to use, let them thaw out and peel the skin off. The longer you let it sit in the bowl, um, the more dark your soap will be. So if you want dark soap, leave them in there. Measure out your hard oils and butters. In this batch, I'm using 20% cocoa butter. Uh, melt them over the top of your stove and um, just occasionally stir them. Okay, so what I wanna do when I'm adding banana for my water, and I wanna make this even, I'm gonna split this up because I wanna make a cocoa color and just white. And so, you're gonna take your lye amount, and it's 214 grams, and you wanna mix a little bit more water just to make sure it's all dissolved with that. So you're doing a one to one, or a little bit, one to one point something. But um, at 33%, I can use up to 508 grams of water, and that's what I'm just gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna mix 250, um, grams of water to 214, and then I'll have 258 left. I'll split that into two, so I'm gonna stick 129 grams into one container, and then 129 grams of just straight water. I'm placing 129 grams into two containers that are the same size. So the 129 grams of the mashed bana banana and then the other container, it'll be 129 grams of just distilled water. And this will make it even once you separate your batter. So 253, that's close enough. And then my lie amount, it's gonna be 214. Then this is my melted oils, so I need to add my olive and my castor. Okay, so in between, I have these crafting scissors. I've had them for years. I've never really used them. And there's a bunch of people at Scrapbook back in the day um, might have these. But take a card, playing card. And this is the same width of my mold, so it'll work. And what I'm going to do is make a couple of these. And I'm going to make sure that I... Uh, cut a couple just in case it gets weak from getting wet that I can go back in there and scrape. I'm not sure which pattern I like the best. Kind of thinking this one, so um, that one might hold up better though. So I'll just try it and see how this works.
So when my temp's 90 degrees Fahrenheit, so I didn't really show you. Separate your batter into both containers evenly and just give it a good stir. And we're gonna set up our banana layer first. So I'm gonna mix it to pretty thick trays. So it, it'll set up and I can lay those other colors on top of it. Bunch of bubbles in there. So my batter's set up pretty well, a little bit thicker than I wanted, but it's okay. This will make it so it sets up faster and you're not breaking through when you're laying the other layers on top. I'm just using a card to flatten or straighten it out, level it out, and then I'll take my scraper card that I cut and put some indentions in there with it, and then I'm going to, at the end, um, using a strainer, I'm gonna sprinkle a thin line of cocoa powder just to make a nice pencil line throughout. When adding a pencil line, uh, make sure that you do not put it on too thick. If you do, when you're cutting your soap, it'll separate and you'll get two pieces where you put the line, they'll break in half. So my batter is a little bit thicker than I wanted, but still gonna work um, i should have mixed my cocoa powder right away and the biggest thing is to make sure you don't have clumps so i just take my spatula and rub it on the sides and just make sure that it's blended well inside there and um, it does take quite a bit to do it this way um, but like i said just make sure that all the clumps are out of it and you're not, when you pour it, you're not going to get a bunch of big clumps of cocoa powder inside of each batch. So my batter is fairly thick. Um, just get it in the mold and give it a good tap to make sure you don't have a bunch of air bubbles in there. And I'll just use the card and my spatula to level it out. Um, putting this design with my cut card again, and then I'll lay the cocoa powder color on top of it. <laughs> 